Now appearing at the 64X Concert Hall, DJ Doug Pound. DJ Doug Pound in the mix. DJ Doug Pound in the mix. DJ Doug Pound in the mix. DJ Doug Pound. suffer from high cum pressure. Oh shit, I just, <laughs> I just told a penis joke. Uh, so my name is Doug and some people call me Duh for short. Some people call me <laughs> for snort. <laughs> some people call me Duh. Gliss for long. <laughs> My least favorite sex position is the standing 69. Because <laughs> the girl always drops me on my head. Uh, what else about me? I like uh, long walks on the beach. I like uh, the, s the sound of lawnmowers. I like the smell of freshly cut foreskins. <laughs> 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 I went, I've been going camping a lot recently. I got this new Yeti camp toilet. It keeps your turds warm for five days. I hope you like my joke. I went to a gender reveal party recently, and uh, it was just a really tall person with a trench coat on. And he, it turns out it was a, a man. I hope you like Joke. I saw my mailman on a date. I asked him, where'd you guys meet? He said, Postmates. I hope you like my joke. Man, gangs really suck at advertising. They're always writing their, um, their names all over the place, but they never give me an address where I can buy the narcotics. I hope you like my joke. When I was a kid, I used to play with My Little Pony. Now I play with my big horse. <laughs> I ran into Diplo recently, fellow DJ, and um, one of his dancers uh, was pregnant. And um, she said, do you want to touch my belly? And I felt her belly. I could feel, I could feel it twerking. I hope you like my joke. Uh, what else is going on? Super Bowls are a waste of Gatorade, you know? They keep dumping them out. I hope you like... This is one of those days! <laughs> what else is on here? DJ. Wow. Yeah. 
I met a, uh, went on a date with this girl, and she said she had no gag reflex. And I thought, I told her, uh, you know, there's a nicer way to tell me you don't like my cooking. <laughs> okay. How come girls with cornrows don't like guys with farmer's tans, you know? What's up with that? <laughs> kind of weird. <sighs> Uh, the other day, um, I thought I was having an earthquake. You know, we live here in Southern California. I thought there was an earthquake. Turned out, I just, I left my doorbell on vibrate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my friend was like, Doug, you got to try rough sex. Have you ever tried that, rough sex? I was like, I don't know about that. I haven't tried that. But I, have you ever tried rough breakfast? <laughs> I do rough breakfast. I have, um... I have my partner shove dry granola down my throat while she chokes me. <laughs> my partner. Okay. Just kidding. I don't have a partner. Why do they call it a partner anyway? Why, isn't it, why do people call their significant other a partner? What are we doing? What are we doing? Sucking dicks or solving crimes? <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, folks. What is <laughs> this? <laughs> on my way here, I was driving and... Um, I saw some I saw some roadkill on the street. I was like, oh, uh, then I got really sad. Then I got a little closer to it. Then um I I saw that it was just a hamburger. Then I got happy again, but then I thought, oh man, well that's still kind of a dead animal, you know. Then I got even closer and I didn't recognize it was the it was the impossible burger from Burger King. Then I felt happy again. I forgot what happens at the end of that joke, but um, just we'll just run the laugh track. I have a baby off-board sticker on my car, so people know they can just, they can just drive, they can just slam into me anytime they want. I was at the uh, bathroom in Chipotle, and this guy uh, comes up next to me, and he's like, "Hey, you want to cross streams?" And that's pretty weird, right? That's not even the weirdest part of that story. The weirdest part was we both had diarrhea. You want to do it across diarrhea streams with me? Because the love that you gave that we made was an able that. All right. Um, I was dating this girl, uh, this barista from Starbucks. She wanted to put the condom on my wiener. I was like, okay. And she's like, do you want some room for cream? I was like, whoa. <laughs> okay. Man, my neck hurts. I think I slept weird. I fell asleep driving a, a, a school bus full of kids to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> okay, some of these don't hit as much as the others do. I do have this other bumper sticker on my car. It says, it's just an arrow pointing to the side. It says, fuck that guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? Uh, music, right? Let's talk about music a little bit. Um, it's tough to listen to music these days because all my favorite artists keep getting uh, canceled. R. Kelly, Ariel Pink, Jeffrey Epstein. You guys don't like his music? Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> I haven't heard his... <laughs> haven't heard his early seven inches. Anyway, um, so I started to just, I, s I don't even listen to music anymore. I just listen to NPR. But the thing with NPR is you can't sing along to it. Um, but um, I taught myself how to sing it. Cause because the, my favorite thing about listening to music was singing along to my favorite songs in the car. So I taught myself how to sing along to NPR, and I'll show you guys how to do it goes like this. KPCC.org. We can do this, and we do it with your help. We, this is our Power to the Public Drive, and we are powered by you, our listeners. Today is the last day of the drive. Okay. All right. Uh-oh, I get, 
He is the crickets. I, you guys probably think I'm doing bad, right? Because the crickets are making their sound. Actually, you know what that sound is that the crickets make? It doesn't mean they don't like the comedian or DJ on stage. That means they're, that's their mating call. So I'm actually doing good right now. <laughs> I'm inspiring crickets all across the Mega 64 studio to have sex. They're all having sex because I did it. I inspired them to have sex. And my point is, not only do crickets have mating calls, men have mating calls too. Ladies, any ladies out here? <laughs> <laughs> ladies, have you ever heard a man's mating call? You probably don't realize that they're doing these mating calls, but they're happening all around us. Let me show you a few examples. Bitch, I'm Wait. Today. Here's one. That's a man's mating call. Here's another one. I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. That's another man's mating call. <laughs> Here's one. You ever heard this one? I still love you. That's a man's mating call. <laughs> and then we'll end up in the Supreme Court. That's a man's mating call. Today is the greatest day. That's a man's mating call. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I made babies. That's another man's mating call. Here, there's a couple more here. We drank beer. There's one. I liked beer. Remember that one? That's a man's mating call. Anyway, you know what this is? That's the mating call for children. <laughs> Any ice cream men out here in the house tonight? Any ice cream men? Yeah, we have a couple. Hey, ice cream men. Uh, when are you going to update your song? You keep driving up and down my street playing the same turn of the century poverty anthem for the last hundred years. And it's like time for an update, you know? I'm sick of hearing this song, you know? Uh, anyway, uh, so I made, uh, if any, any ice cream men out here, I, have a, I made my own ice cream truck song, and you guys can have it. Um, I'll play it for you here a little bit. Don't sell coke, I don't sell weed, I just stunt the motherfucker out of ice cream. Yeah. Smoking that gas, stealing that money, jumping my truck. Yeah. I don't sell coke, I don't sell weed I just got the motherfucking I I ice cream yeah. Smoking that gas, doing that molly Driving my truck, selling ice cream I'm really happy for you, I'm let you finish I'm, I'm re We drank beer We drank, we drank, we drank, we drank We drank, we drank, we drank, we drank Bitch, I make babies Bitch, I, bitch, 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 bitch. Today is the greatest day. And then, and then we'll end up in the Supreme Court. And then, 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 smoke weed every day. Smoke. Okay, I think we're, uh, all right, we got, what else is happening? Um, this is my impression of uh, a flight, a retired flight attendant at uh, the grocery store. That's where the laugh is. Sheesh. Okay, here's my impression of uh, a retired flight attendant uh, at that same retired flight attendant at the grocery store getting a text message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They, they go backwards down the aisle. Okay. How's everyone doing out there? Mega 60, I'm looking at the chat here. We got Butter and Eggman is out there. He's 
he put up an emoji. That's cool. Uh, we have somebody says O. Oh. Okay. Um, I guess I can do like kind of an ambient set. I have I I've been getting into ambient music a little bit. You guys have squat goals. You guys got squat goals. I got uh, my squat goal is to be uh, my squad goal is for me and all my friends to be um, Mexican soccer TV announcers. That's my <laughs> that's my squad goal. <laughs> this girl I was dating said I didn't need to use a condom. So I said, okay, I guess I'll just put this goldfish in a Ziploc bag. I usually put my goldfish in a condom when I transport them from the carnival to my tank. You guys like Star Wars? Is anyone R2-DTF out here? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have some interesting Star Wars uh, trivia if you guys want to hear it. Um, no, that's that's R two D two, right? You hear that? Do you ever? Uh, did you know that? Um, do you know why George Lucas made him sound like that? It's because um, he's swearing the entire time, and <laughs> the P the movie's PG. They couldn't have all these swears in there, so George Lucas had to find a creative way to beep him out. So that's how they beeped him. And I got this. I just recently. Just recently, I got I got this uh, uncensored Star Wars tape. Is it okay to to say bad words on here? Okay, well, this is what R two D two is really saying. Lavish life, nigga. <laughs> I mean, you can't have that on a children's uh, PG movie. Um, anyway, that was that was R two D two. Is any any one percenters out here? Maybe got a couple. It's like, come on, guys, charge your phones already. <laughs> um, okay, one more thing, I guess. Um, my, uh, my, I, I have a nephew. He's a little, little kid. He's like one or two years old or something, and. Um, He's always crying, you know, just for like no reason, you know. The kid just starts crying, and I asked my sister, "Why does, why is Archie crying for no reason here?" She's like, "Oh, that means he's tired." And I was thinking, "Oh, he just cries when he's tired. That's it." She's like, "Yeah," and I go, "That's that's cool, cause that's what I do. Whenever I get tired, I cry. Every night, I cry myself to sleep. I have a field recording of myself." crying just last night. I'm going to just be a little vulnerable with you guys and play that clip. You guys probably think I suck at basketball because I'm short. Well, you're wrong. I suck at basketball because I love to travel. <laughs> Um, you know what? Um, <sighs> you killed it. You totally <laughs> murdered it. I killed it. You know what? I killed it. I think that's my time. I have. I brought some videos. I thought you guys show videos. If you know, if you want, I you can watch a couple of my videos or something. But thank you guys for having me. 
Mega 64 for life, okay? 64X is happening today. It's happening right now, and thank you for having me. Peace. You killed it. You totally Here's the thing. These rooms where people just get together and dance with a, a guy on a turntable that's just sort of pressing play and all this electronic music and lights, and you hear it. Uh, 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 uh. This is a recent human phenomenon. 30, 40 years ago, this didn't exist. They had disco balls. That was like the best light show you got. Now they have laser shows. I mean, the, just the visual splendor of it all. It's beautiful to look at. And all these people have glow sticks. When you see glow sticks, those people are on ecstasy. Those people are fucked up. How many of those people? What is it, like 30%? It literally might be like 60% of the people are on ecstasy. It's like, do you, do you roll? Are you rolling? The music is insane. life decisions in these kind of rooms for real because if you work every day like every day is hammer and nails and picking up wood and thinking of the time you have off sometimes you can go to a place like this and you just experience joy and everyone's on ecstasy and people are walking by touching everybody's chest 
and you start to think about your real job and you start to dread it. You start to really dread it. And you just realize like, this is all temporary. This whole experience is temporary. And I'm wasting so much of my temporary time doing bullshit. Doing bullshit. Are you rolling? Doing bullshit. Are you rolling? Are you rolling? 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 Rol